In this video, I am going to speedrun Minecraft, but not in the way that you might think. The Ender Dragon is safe, for now, but Iron Golems are not. Instead, I will be speedrunning an iron farm, one of the most essential farms for a Minecraft world. Let's lay down some ground rules. First, I will be on a completely random seed that I have never seen before, although I may reset if there is no village nearby. Second, the farm must be 100% automatic, meaning I can't kill the golems manually. And third, the timer will stop as soon as the first iron ingot is produced. With that out of the way, let's speedrun an iron farm. We start this challenge by generating a brand new world on a completely random seed. And as much as I'd love to say I'm just that lucky and got a village right off the bat, this was actually the 27th reset. After looking around for about 40 seconds, I found a village. Then on my way there, I made some basic tools, checked the blacksmith, you know, speedrun things. Hey, look, a bell. You should ring it. Now, the iron farm design that I'm using for this challenge is one by Ian x 4 I'll leave a link to their video in the description. But the main things that are needed for this design and that I'm looking for at the village are beds, torches, two slabs, and three trap doors. And not needed for the farm, but, you know, needed for survival is food, which I forgot. But once we sorted that out, I started looking for where we were going to build this farm. The ideal location is a medium-sized flat area that doesn't really have any blocks lower than the spawning area such as caves or ravines below the farm. And of course, something that I always like to do on a new world is kill the golem at the village for a bit of iron so I can make a bucket. I settled on this area in between these two houses and began clearing out the area using my diamond shovel. After you have a suitable location to build the farm, you dig out near a corner a 1x3 area for the villagers and then dig down seven blocks. This villager decided to jump in early. Not sure that it helped me out much. After digging down seven blocks, dig a 3x3x3 three by three by three area out for the villagers. This is where the beds are going to go, and this is where the slabs and trapdoors will go, but I, I forgot to get wood. I know, I'm very good at this challenge. Keep digging in that same direction, a 2x2x3 two by two by three area for the zombie, and then staircase out. And this is how we are going to get the zombie in here. While it's still on my mind, I go to grab some wood, and then I fill up my bucket with water before digging out the spawning area for the golems, which is going to be a five by nine area that you dig two blocks down into the ground. Then I went and placed the water to push the golems into the lava. With the water now in place, I went back to the blacksmith to grab some lava for our killing mechanism for the golems, but nighttime was upon us, which is actually really good for me because the villagers will now get into the beds all by themselves. With the villagers now in the hole, I got some signs and a fence gate to make the housing for the lava. Now, if you didn't know, if you put a sign above a gate, it will prevent it from burning. Now the final thing before I find a zombie is to go back and place those slabs and the trapdoor that I forgot. When you place the slabs and the trapdoor like this, it basically makes it so that the villagers won't see the zombie for a split second whenever they stand next to the trapdoor. Then place a boat for the zombie. This way you don't have to worry about getting name tags or having the zombie pick up an item. But with that, the farm was completed and all I needed to do was find a zombie. I looked around and I couldn't find any zombies spawning, at least nearby. I found my target, but this creeper made things very difficult. And because I didn't want it to blow up the farm, I let it away a little bit and just let it blow up. That being said, where my issue was I couldn't find zombies before, I had now found too many zombies. And I had to try and get one to fall that into my trap. So I lured the horde in and got a zombie to fall into the hole. Then with a little bit of finesse, I got the trapdoors shut, showed off my awful fighting skills, and as I killed the final zombie, we got our first golem spawn. Now, could I have done this challenge much faster? Of course. Can you do this challenge faster? I don't know. Let me know. And as we wait for the lava to kill this golem to see our time, you can see that we have a fully automatic iron farm day one within 16 minutes and three seconds. Not too bad. Anyway, this challenge was a lot of fun. Give it a try for yourself and hit that subscribe button if you think I should make more videos like this one. Okay, bye.